Hi, this is EuroUSD and today it's Friday 1st of May 2015 and the time is 11.18 GMT. I'm Sofia Stavropoulou and this is a video signal for Forex ID Academy members, FX colleagues, Forex Signal Subs users and WhatsApp Signal subscribers. I'm using Ichimoku Kinko Hio, Bollinger Bands, Fractals and Stochastics. Uh, using my four time frame Ichimoku strategy and starting from monthly, I don't see a fresh price tank and sand cross here, but I see a very strong and fresh price tank and sand cross, a bullish one on weekly, so this will be my highest time frame of the four. And on daily I want to see a, a, a bullish Kumo breakout which is just happening. On H4 I want to see a 100% bullish picture which is what I see and H1 will be my last time frame of the four and here I have to wait patiently for a bearish price tank and sand cross, a downward move and then I will enter from here, I will buy when I see a bullish price Tenkan Sen cross with Tenkan Sen going up, medium bold Japan going up, Chiku Span above past price action going up and Stochastics going up. We had a previous uh, correction on H1 you see here and the continuation of the uptrend. For now please wait patiently for a bearish price ten can send cross. It's enough to see uh, a candlestick like this crossing and closing below ten can send. You will. You, it is not necessary to see a downward move. If you see a downward move, even better. But please be patient. If you don't see a downward move and the next candlestick uh, closes above uh, ten can send like the one here, you can enter. But uh, in this particular case, seeing the stochastics crossing, uh, making a bearish cross at being both below 80 level line, I would suggest you wait. Um, you, you have to see everything um, bullish uh, in order to, uh, after the correction, in order to enter. Now, alternatively, uh, you can go to uh, three time frames lower, starting from the bullish price tank and sand cross you had on H1. Uh, price is definitely above the Kumo on M30. 100% uh, bullish picture on M15. And you can wait for the correction on M5 for a downward move below Tenkan Sen. And after the correction is over, when you see a bullish price Tenkan Sen cross with Tenkan Sen going up, medium bold Zebat going up, uh, Chiku Span above past price action and Stochastics going up, you can enter from here. But H1, although it takes a lot of patience, is much more preferable. Now, once you enter long, uh, you may enter long uh, at 1.1223 price level, possibly, uh, if a, a correction H1 happens, then you can place your stop loss below the lower Bollinger Band on H1 and your take profit target um, can be placed a few pips below Kitchen Sen on weekly at 1.1419 price level. But again, it's better to scalp the price and let the price lead and you follow um, uh, uh, trailing your stop loss below Kitchen Sen on H1 or once you are in profits from H1, switch to M15 and trail your stop loss below Kitchen Sen on M15. Uh, you minimize your risk this way and you may have many exits and entries and re-entries, but um, you are more in control of the trade. Thanks for watching and happy pips.